starting on our shell pose today. Let's get our knee wide apart. Bring the big toes together. Sit the hip back towards to the heels. And let's gently walk your hands forward. And trying to find that calm breath at the beginning of the practice. Really allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your back to relax. If it's possible, let the chest melt down to the floor. As you can bring your forehead, your shin or your chest. And begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Find these calm sensations through the inhale and exhales. Just take a deep, big breath here. And slowly sigh, sigh it out. One more time, inhale. And let it out. And from here, inhale, we're gonna start to slowly walk the fingertips back. Begin to come back into downward facing dog. So tap your toes, bring the knees back, and then lift the hips up and back again. Make sure that your feet are with the hip distance and start to paddle the heel first side to side. Relax your shoulders as you press in down into the hands. You can keep bending the knees a few times. And then I want you to take a deep, big breath, lift the heels high. Now, bring your heels a bit in and turn the toes a bit out and take a deep big breath, lift it even higher, press your chest down, press your hands and then exhale, trying to bend your knees to the side as much as you can, widen up those knees and sink your hip down. Keep pushing the hand, keep lengthening the back, hold it here, allow your legs and everything to come down, activate into your glutes for five. Four, three, two, and one. From here, straightening the leg, keep your toes wide out, and then exhale again, sink down. Inhale up, really lift up into your thighs, active and firm those legs when you stand up and straight the leg, and then exhale, go down. Inhale, come up, keep the heels lift, exhale, down a few more times, lift, Exhale down, we're gonna try to get those legs burned first, up and down. Keep pushing into the hands, up and down. Okay, inhale, this time look forward, step both feet outside the hands. From here, we're gonna come up into a very wide chair pose. Now, you can keep your toes a bit like 45 or even more, or keep it straight forward, depends on the structure of your hip, which one feels better for you. And from here, you're gonna sink your hip down, trying to get the weight back towards your heels and lift the arms up. Keep the core tight, pull the belly in and hold it here for five. Try to get the hip low, four, three, two, and one. From here, place your hands all the way down, trying to lift the buttock up as you inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, this time step both leg all the way back into downward facing dog. Now inhale, lift the heels high again. Exhale, press the heels down. And then inhale this time. Keep your left foot ground. Inhale, lift the right leg up into the sky. And let's bend the knee, open up into the hips. Trying your best to keep the right shoulder down as you squeeze it into your glutes. Then start to lift the left heel high. Hold it here for five, four, draw the belly in, three, two, and one. From here, start to circle up the knees and the hips here. Go into a clockwise version for one, two, three. Keep those arms straight, four, and five. And from here on the exhale, Draw your right knee outside the right arms and step the right foot outside. Drop your left knee on the floor first. Come up on your fingertips, inhale. Sink your hip down and lift the chest up. Take a deep, big breath. Draw the tailbone as low and down as much as you can. Big, big breath and from here, exhale. Drop your forearm 
on the floor if that's possible for you. If not, you can keep your palms down the same. Now you can stay right here and just hold five breaths for option two. You can lift your left knee up. You feel like your leg is ready. And then option three, you're gonna try to keep your hand as light as possible by come down on the fingertips and hold for five, four, sink down, three, two, and one. From here, drop your left knee down, inhale, reach the arms over the head, keep the hips square, trying to draw the belly in, tuck the tailbone and go down. Use your left toes to push yourself forward and down as well as lengthen your chest up and back for five again, four, slowly draw your arms down, three, and one day you're gonna try to reach these fingertips down to the floor, two, and one. From here, place both hands down on the floor, keep that right leg bent, step and hop that left foot up into a standing split. And now from here, Walk both hands to the right side of the mat. Bend your left leg, open up into the hips. Again, look underneath your left armpits. And then keep that right leg strong. Doesn't matter what your left leg looks like. For two, three, squeeze those left glutes. Four, and five. From here, drop your left foot all the way down and back. Turn your left hands all the way back. Warrior two, bend into your right knee, trying to get your hip down and forward. Look towards your right hand, trying to sink low a bit more for five, four. Keep breathe, breathe, breathe. Three, two, whew, and one. Place both hands down. Now we're gonna step the right foot all the way back into a plank position. Shift your body forward, hug your ribs, squeeze your glutes and then go down. You can drop the knee first, or chaturanga. Inhale, slide your shoulders up and back. Bend your elbows, and then exhale, curl your toes back. Downward facing dog. And then before we go to another side, inhale, lift both heels high, and then exhale, press the heels back and down. All right, now we're gonna go for another side. Inhale, we're gonna lift the left leg up. Let's bend the knee and up, open up into that left hip, trying to keep your left shoulder down and square. And then let's go from here. We're gonna squeeze into your left glutes. Now we're gonna lift the right heel high. Hold it here for five, draw the belly in. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna circle up your leg, your knees. So this time, let's go into a anti-clockwise for one as wide as you can, two, three, open up, four, and five. Okay, from here on the exhale, draw your left leg, left knee towards your left elbow, and step your left foot outside the left hand, starting to drop your right knee down. Come up to the front first, trying to keep squeezing your left knee in first for the first round. Take a deep, big breath, lift the chest, come up on the fingertips, and then from here, exhale. Feel free to stay here or come down onto the elbows. And then keep squeezing your left knee. Now, here's a few options, just like the other side. You can tuck your right toe, lift the right knee off the ground, or come up on the fingertips, a little more challenging. Trying your best to keep those weight as less as possible on your hands for five. Sink down, squeeze your left knee, four, Right leg, firm up. Three, two, and one. Let's drop your right knee down for a second. Slowly come up. Take a deep, big breath in from here. Keep squeezing into your left glutes. Come up into a low lunge here. Deep, big breath. Pointing that left knee towards to the front. Squeeze your right glutes. Belly in, exhale for five. Go down, four, sink down. Three, one day you'll reach it down. Two, and one. Place both hands on the front. Bend your left leg. Keep the foot, left foot tight, and then step both hands forward. Kicking up the right leg into the standing split. And then start to bend the right knee. Walk both hands to the left side of the mat. 
It will really lengthen into those right side and squeeze your right glutes for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, from here, walk your hands back, step the right foot all the way to the back. Bring your right hand as well as to the back. Bend your left knee, warrior two. Trying to encourage yourself by open up into the left knee and see how many toes you can see on your left foot. Hold it up for five. Just relax your shoulders. Four. Breathe it up. Strong legs, strong core. Two. And one. Okay, great job. Bring both hands down to the front. Step your left foot all the way back into plank positions. Really firm up into those lat thighs. And then exhale. Go for chaturanga. Inhale. Cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale. Curl up your toes back. Downward facing dog. And then inhale here. Lift the heels high. Exhale, press the heels back down, all the way. Now we're gonna go through Sun A modifications here. Inhale, bend your knees, both knees, and then hop or step outside the feet. Try to sink down into a yogi squat, malasana, as much as you can. You can be here, or here, or here. Go all the way down, use your elbows for pushing out into those knees, lift the chest up. Squeeze your glutes and your thighs for three, two, and one. Both hands all the way down. You can keep that legs wide. Fold down. And from here, inhale. Bend your knees. Come up into chair pose. And then inhale. So again, up. Exhale. Again, chair pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Go over and down. Wide. Forward, fold. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, sink down into Malasana. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Take a deep, big breath and then exhale. Bring your hands down. You can hop, step, or jump back into a vinyasa. Now inhale. Squeeze your thighs. Push, push, push. And then exhale. Downward facing dog. All right, we're going to keep going. Inhale, lift the heels high. Bend the knee. And then from here, hop or jump forward. Malasana. Inhale. Exhale, fold down, lift the leg up. Inhale, come up into chair pose. Exhale, stay. Inhale, standing up. Push the hip forward a bit. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, both hands down. Forward fold. Inhale again. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, dip your hip down into malasana. Take a deep, big breath in, push the elbow. Exhale, pull both hands down. Hop, jump, or I give you an option. Crow and jump back. Inhale. Ooh, that was fun. Exhale, downward facing dog. All the way back. One more round. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knee. Hop or jump outside. Inhale, malasana. Ooh. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, find your share pose here. Big breath, exhale, hold. Pull the belly, inhale, lengthen your legs. Exhale again, chair pose. Now inhale, hold. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, sink down to Malasana. Inhale. And again, exhale, choose whatever you want and hop back. Okay, inhale. Exhale here, downward facing dog. You're gonna stay here for five full breaths. One, press those heels down. Two, push, push, push. Relax your shoulders. Three, up. Four, keep the breath really flowy. And five, okay, this time. Inhale, look forward. Lift the right leg up into the sky. This time, bend the knee, open up into the hips. Squeeze into the right glutes here. And from here, on the exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand. Come up on a very wide one. Tuck your toes this time. Come all the way up into crescent. 
Take a deep, big breath in from here. Tuck your tailbone. This is gonna help you open up the hip flexor. And then from here, go down. Bend your left knee first. Tuck the tail. When you sink down, now try to lock the positions of the hip. And on the exhale, trying your best to press and straight into the left leg. Mm. One more time. Inhale, bend and go down. Exhale, lock the back. Tuck the tailbone and keep straightening the leg in. Good job. And from here, inhale, lengthen your spine. Take a deep, big breath. And then exhale, go for a standing split. Both hands down, kick the left leg up. From here, inhale, bend your left leg. Breathe it up. And then from here, exhale, step your left foot all the way back, finding your warrior two. Bend your right knee. Take a deep, big breath in. From here, exhale, sink down even more. Whew. Inhale, straightening into that right leg. Just come down into Gandasana on the left side. Sink down as much as you can. You might come over here instead. That's all right too. And we're gonna hold it here. For those who can come all the way down, keep the right leg active and open up into the arms. Five, hold it up. Four, three, two, and one. From here, bring your hands to the front. All the way again. Bring your right hand down, either here or come all the way down. Extend your left side of the body. Sweep that left arm over and try to turn your thumb up. Left thumb, hold it here for five. Keep active your left leg. Four. Right leg also strong. Three, two, and one. Okay, bring your left hand all the way down this time. Right hands will go outside. Take the deep, big breath in, and then exhale. Step it all the way back. Find your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale here, downward facing dog. Before the other side, inhale, lift both heels high. Exhale, press the hips, press the heels back. There we go. Now the other side, inhale, lift the left leg up. Let's bend the knee, open up the hip. Maybe lift right heel a bit higher. And on the exhale, step your left foot outside your left hand come up on the right toes inhale breathe it up crescent really again you can have your hands on the waist to make sure that your back is lengthened and your tailbone is tucked all the time from here bend your right knee so your tailbone can be tucked easier the big breath bend your left leg and from here keep the positions of the hip lock now this side you might be able to see it clearer and on the exhale lock the hip and straightening into that right leg. Hold it for five. Oop. Let's bend it again. Four. Up. Three. Now you're getting good at it. Two. And one. Inhale, reach the arms over the head. And then exhale, both hands down. Finding your standing split. Kick the right leg up. Breathe it in. Bend your right leg. Squeeze your right glute and open up into that right knee. Okay, and then from here on the exhale, step the right foot all the way back. Find your warrior two, gracefully. Bend your left knee, sink your hip a little lower. Take a deep, big breath here for five, four, go down, three, suck the belly, two, and one, straight the right, left leg, go down as low as you can, and two, serve for lunge, and then open up into the chest for five. Keep that left leg active. Four, three, two, and one. From here, inhale, use the power of the right leg here to come up either here or left hand all the way down. So we're gonna sweep the right arms up, cross up. Turn the thumb up here to five. Right leg strong, four, three, relax your shoulder, two, and one, okay, place your right hand down, left hands go outside. We're stepping all the way back. And from here, slowly go down. Inhale. Exhale here, curl up your toes. Find your downward facing dog. All right, you can rest your five breaths. We'll find your shout pose here. Five, four, Three, 
two, and one. Okay, inhale this time. If you're on the child pose, come up on downward facing dog, and we're gonna begin on the right leg again. Inhale, we're gonna lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip, and also lift the left knee, left heels up. From here, just a circle up, one, up two, three, outside this time. Back, reverse, one, two, and three. On the exhale, step the right foot outside. Tuck your toes, slide your foot back, come all the way up. Take a deep, big breath in, Carson. We're gonna add up some humble warrior. From here, bring your hands behind your back, squeeze into your shoulder blades, bring your arms away, tuck your toes. Now keep the knee pointing forward, trying to turn yourself to the left corner of the mat, not resting the, sh the body on the right leg and go down as much as you can. Think about aiming the forehead down to the floor for five, Four, go down, three, two, and one. Okay, from here, inhale, come up, reach the arms over the head again, same pattern. On, on the exhale, both hands are down, kicking the left leg up into a standing split. This time will be a normal version, straight the leg. You can move your hands closer to your ankles, or maybe one of the hand will grab the ankle and pull down even closer. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, from here, left foot will go all the way to the back, finding your warrior two. Take a deep, big breath. Exhale, sink the hip a little lower. All right, inhale, extend the right leg, go down into Skandasana. Now we're gonna go back and forth, just a few times here. And from here, we're gonna go forward. One, you can use your hand to support. Two. Good, up three, up four. On the last one, go to the front and bring your right hand inside. Reach the left hand all the way up. Lengthen your spine here. Deep, big breath in. And from here, exhale, place both hands down. Step the right foot all the way back to your vinyasa. Whew. Inhale, exhale, open up. Inhale, both heels are lift. Exhale, press it down. Now let's go on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, open up. Lift the right heel three times. Both sides, here we go. One, any size we'll do first. Two, and three. We reverse, up for one. Two, and three. Okay, step the left foot outside. Tuck your toes, inhale, crescent. Big breath in, exhale, get down. Let's go for a humble warrior. This side, this side, on this side, you might be able to see better. Inhale, exhale, we're not dipping our back or our belly on the left thigh, but more to the right corner of the mat. There's no right and wrong here. This is just, just to kind of keep your legs strong as well. And let's try to get the forehead as close to the floor as much as you can for four, three, keep the right leg. Firm and strong. Two, and one, inhale. Come on, rise up, both hands. Exhale, both hands down, standing split, nice and clean. Kick it up, a little walking the hands back. For five, both point those toes, four, three, two, and one. Hop the right foot back, here goes. Warrior two, kneel it up gracefully. Big breath in, exhale. Sink down. All right, go back and forth with the Gandasana. And here we go. On the right side. Big breath in the left. And right. Last one here on the left. And then place your left hand down. Reach the right hands up. Big, big breath in. Exhale, sink down a bit more. Great job. Both hands are going to be down on the floor. We're stepping the left foot back. Take a deep, big breath, squeeze your glutes, exhale, come all the way down, inhale, exhale, here, curl up your toes back, and take a deep, big breath, we're gonna lift the heels two times, lift the heels up on the inhale, exhale, press back, one more time here, inhale, up, 
exhale back and down good now we're going to continue our flow we're going to inhale lift the right leg up here open up into the hips this time no circle up the knee exhale just step the right foot outside the right hand all the way down okay from here inhale lengthen your back raise the arms exhale just one deep big breath into a humble warrior go all the way down inhale lengthen up your chest again but before we go to the standing split bring both hands down first keep the right foot into the midline or even the left side of the mat take a deep big breath and then from here we're going to step the left foot the back foot all the way to the right side of the mat now this will open up and help you open up this hip right hips here so from here we're going to bend lift the big toe right big toe up and then if you can bring the outer edge of the left foot down i'm not sure you can see let's go from here and then from here you're gonna trying to sink the hip down and squeezing into the in the thighs and go for five four mm, three whew, maybe even closer to the floor two and one okay from here keep that right foot down and lift the left leg up swing it up into a standing split pointing up those toes big breath in and then on the exhale step your left foot all the way back finding into your warrior two take a deep big breath into the chest here and then exhale before we go into gandasana we're gonna go right hand all the way down inhale again reach the left hands up big big breath exhale we're gonna hold it here if you can trying to bind that right arms under and then from here maybe cashing into your fingertips or your wrists and from here open up for five four oh three two and one maybe give a little straight into that right leg oh this is just an optional okay from here slowly bend into your leg again keep the right hand out down and unbind go straight into gandasana Ooh. now that feels good into the right leg inhale open up into the chest maybe adding a little bind on the left knee big breath in here for five four keep that right leg active three two and one now releasing into the bind bend into your left leg again we're gonna come back this time bring your hands down now here's a few options we're gonna go into a bird of paradise so bend into your right leg first now here's an option you can bring your hands down and just stay here into a lizard lunge some of you you can snuggle your shoulder underneath your knee that's great this is where you are and then maybe the next step you are here now choose any options I will be providing you from now or you can bind it up all right so wherever you are now next step if you can step your left foot before we reaching up into this bird of paradise i give you a little challenging we're gonna chip the body forward this is very hard for me as well and then trying to kick that left leg up or even transfer the weight into the right leg here go forward and hold it up Whew, and come down all right now from here here comes to a bird of paradise keep the foot left foot grounded and then maybe you can lift it up with the right leg now focus on keeping your left leg strong a straight line first lift the chest open up into the chest maybe you are here or maybe the next step into a full bird of paradise point your toes Whew, and from here start to bend into the knees put the foot down step your left foot back bring your hands all the way out and step back now you can rest your knee chest in if that feels good for you inhale open up into the chest mm. and then exhale curl your toes back down with facing dog all right you need to take a rest from here rest and come out um, and play the video as as long as you have your rest and then we'll come back to this again all right now we're gonna start with the left side let's begin with the left leg up bend your knee open up into the hips maybe we'll start to lift that right heels breathe it up through the left side 
And on the exhale, step your left foot forward and outside. Your left hands, tuck your right toes first. Inhale, come up. One big breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind. Go all the way down for the humble warrior. Whew. All right, from here, inhale, come up. Take a deep, big breath. Lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, place both hands down. Left foot will be in the midline or even a little bit on the right side of the mat and put that right foot all the way back. Now, bring your, the outer edge of the right foot down. And again, you can lift the left big toe and from here, try to sink the hip down. Make sure that your left knee is fine. We want to find that feelings on the left hip for five and try to go low. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, left foot will be grounded on the floor. Swing that right leg up into a standing split. Deep, big breath in, fold down. Ooh. Okay, and from here, start to bend it into your left knee. Put your right foot all the way behind. Warrior two, coming up here again. And take a deep, big breath in. Before we go to Skandasana, bring your left hand down inside and swing that right hand up. Now you can stay here while finding a little bind of yours on this side. If not, don't worry about it. Keep the right leg firm. Open that right shoulder for five, four, three, two, and one. Maybe a little straightening into that left leg. Try to sink down, Ooh, and then release into the bind. Extend your left leg, go down to Gandasana. <sighs> Inhale, find a little bind in here. <sighs> Deep, big breath in. Keep the left leg active for five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, release the bind. Come forward this time. Just bring your left hand all the way down. Now again, we're gonna go into Bird of Paradise. We're gonna bring your left, snuggle your left shoulder underneath. Maybe this is where you are. And that's it, be happy at where you are. Or you can tuck your toes, flying lizard lunge, or even bind it. For those who can, before we're gonna go into Bird of Paradise, I would like to challenge you. All right, here's my good side. We're gonna shift the body forward, forward, hopefully. And then before that, we're gonna try to lift the right leg up and balance. Whew. Okay, let's try it again. Shift the body forward, left leg strong. Up, 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 up. Woo, and then it's right foot all the way down. Great job, you guys, no matter where you are. Now from here, you can stay there, come out from the post, or trying to get up into a bird of paradise on this side. Slowly come up first, big breath, straight the right leg, pop the chest forward and kick straight the leg. And from here, slowly come down <sighs> and bind it out. Step all the way back into down facing dog. Now we're gonna inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, press the heels down all the way, good. Inhale, look forward. Step or hop to the front of the mat and we're gonna sit all the way down into a seating position. All right, now it comes into a little seating position. We're gonna start with a butterfly pose. So bring the feet together first. So if this is a little hard for you, you might need a cushion or a block to support underneath the hips. If that means if your knees are higher than the hip, then that means you need something to place it under. All right, from here, use your hands to grab into those feet, press into the ball of feel, uh, the ball of your feet together, inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale from here. We're gonna go over and down. All right, so usually with this hip opening, I count it, I like to count it into 10, but if you want to come out before that, that's completely okay. All right, so we're gonna walk the hands forward, trying to keep the lower back straight line. So I'd rather have you here instead of there. All right, from here we're gonna go. One, and go down, two, three, four, five, and use the exhale to go even lower, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. All right, slowly walk your hands back. Now we're gonna uh, really flying our, our wings. Okay, so from here, yeah, thinking about you, the butterflies. We're gonna just keep the knee up and up, down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it dynamically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, great job, guys. From here, we're gonna move the feet just slightly forward. So you try to create that diamond shape of your leg. From here, you're gonna snuggle your, your hands and your arms inside, underneath it as much as you can. All right, from here, really want the straight back from you. I know there's a lot of ways to do it, but this one, I really like you to feel it. So straightening the back because we're gonna need it. Um, a lot right from here lengthen and then exhale trying to lengthen your shin towards your big toes for five feel it in the hips on the back four only five this one three two and one okay release bring your hands out okay now we're gonna start with a pigeon pose first or Bend your right leg, bring your left foot all the way behind. Okay, before we go down and then sink everything down, I'd like you to come into a version of the active pigeons. So trying to place your shin bone across the mat, parallel with the mat if you can. And from here, keep the fingertips down. If this is a bit hard for you, you can use the block here to support to make a bit higher. Okay, from here, we're going to try to flex your toes and then we're gonna try to bounce it. All right, we go for five, four, three, two, one, one more. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. All right, from here, trying your best to lift one fingertips up at the time and trying to put more weight into the hip and the legs rather than the arms. And maybe you are here. If you're here, that's good, that's cool. And then exhale, if you can only, go down with the chest and up for one, two, down three legs strong keep strong four and five okay try to bring your hands down to support okay maybe move the block away first big breath in and then exhale try to get down this time will be a passive one where you rest everything for ten nine eight seven and just relax six five four three two and one okay walk your hands back okay, and start to sit sit down on your right hip and bring your left foot over all right and from here a few options for you we want to come up on these positions where your shin bone is parallel with the the mat the front the the front side if this is impossible and you look kind of like this you can bring your foot down below or place a block or something underneath to make sure that you create this triangle shape all right and from here we're gonna try to go forward and down so take it easy on your hip um, a lot of us we have a different structure so we can maybe sometimes open the front hip the hip flexor better than the side when you try to open like this so be careful all right inhale exhale try to go down for 10 again 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 go down 2 and 1 inhale come up deep big breath in Exhale, now we're gonna twist. So here's a few options. You can just twist here and lean the chest towards to the right leg or bring your hands all the way down. If it's available to you, left elbow would be pushing into the right, the left knee. And there you go for a twist, trying to bring your palms into the center of your chest. Here for five, sorry, 10, nine. Twist, 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 lean forward, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Inhale, raise the arms up again. I know you want to get out from it, me too, but all right, let's go. Right elbow towards your left knee and trying to twist on the side. Here we go, up. Ten. Hands into the midline of the chest. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, from here, come all the way up. We're gonna switch the side into a pigeon on the other side. So left uh, shin bone in front, and then right leg into the back here. Before that, we're gonna try to do the active version of it first. So come up on the shin bone, keep the foot flex. And from here goes five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, Two, one. Now from here, trying to keep the fingertips light or lift the fingertips or up. Take a big breath. Maybe stay here or go down. One, two, three. Go down. Four and five. Okay, now you can rest it here. And then relax everything, trying to press that right thigh down for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now right leg will be in front of you. And then from here, I think it's about to rain. I don't know. Okay, right foot. See, take in any options. Flex into your toes. Not raining anymore. All right, from here, inhale. Exhale, trying to go forward and down. Front foot, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. This time, twist. Let's go for the right side first. Trying to get the elbow closer to the feet and twist it out for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, last side from here. Left elbow towards to the right knee. And here we go for ten. Mm, nine, seven, eight, seven, six, five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. And here we go. From here, bring both hands out. Extend the legs forward. And then just kind of spin it out side to side. Going left and right. Take it easy and gentle on your hips, straightening into the legs. And just to take a deep, big breath here. Lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold over and down. Mm. And here you go, five. Let's just relax the whole shoulders. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, slowly come up. And that would be our honey hip flow. Thank you for letting me share my practice with you. Now you can enjoy your rest in Savasana or just maybe a little bit of shower pose before your rest. And see you on the next video. Feel, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thank you so much. Bye.